is that kind of the path that, that you would hope this program would be on? Or are you there a little quicker than maybe you thought? Or where are you? I'm not the most patient guy in the world, so I'd probably say uh, we're probably right on track to kind of where we want to be. Um, and now the, the big goal would be to retain that for the next umpteen years with the class we got coming in. It's going to be fun. But I, I'm, I'm just excited that, that other people have noticed us. And that the expectations from everybody is that wow, you got to watch out for Kentucky because they got a really good team and if they put things together, it, it could be a, a, a momentum swing for us. Realistically, looking at things, tell me about where, where some of these kids, what, what they can do out there, what kind of damage can you do? Um, you know, obviously, Desiree uh, had a rough, rough year, a couple of injuries uh, that kind of held her back, but. After this past weekend, it's pretty clear that, that she's a legitimate contender for both of the sprints. And now the things we have to do is make decisions, uh, good decisions, to make sure we don't try to be too greedy, uh, just make sure that, that we don't try to overexpose ourselves. Sometimes the, the, the tough thing in the championship, you try to get too much out of each kid, and then you end up looking like an idiot. So my goal is not to look like an idiot, to, to make good decisions. And uh, you know, if, if we win, we win. If we, uh, if we make the right decision and still lose, I'm OK with that. I'm OK with, uh, with doing the right thing by the kids and doing the right thing by the university. So um, I think we can probably score maybe in the neighborhood of 50 points if we have the absolute perfect meet. You know, I'd like to see what that looks like, but I don't really have a number for that. And the funny thing is our goal in January was to score 50 points at the NCAA Outdoor. And I think we're probably pretty close uh, to be able to do that uh, with our relays, our open events, our jumpers, and, and our discus throwers. And, you know, we got sprinters. We got two people in the front meter hurdle. So uh, I'm looking forward to, to see what comes out of all that stuff. What year is Kendra in? What do you think she can do? What can she accomplish out there? Um, you know, the year is pretty cool because she's been undefeated. She hadn't lost a sprint hurdle race yet. Uh, uh, you know, knock on wood, we've got one more to go. She's won everything indoor, she's won everything outdoor, and been performing consistently to the highest level. Uh, when an athlete comes across the finish line and, and they tell you, wow, that didn't feel like that was going that fast, then you know that, that things are beginning to click and they understand what they're supposed to do and how they're supposed to do it. But uh, I don't know if that many women have been undefeated, even in the rounds or even pre preliminary rounds, she hadn't lost anything. Um, and, and it's kind of good to go with that. When you just don't know how to lose, you're just trying to tend, tend to find ways to win. And that's kind of the position she's in now. At CC, she had a, a chance to really fall apart with a really horrendous start. And he got it back together and took care of business. Um, so I, I'm pretty happy and excited uh, with what she's doing. 400 meter hurdles, I don't think she's raced to her potential yet. I think she's kind of been going through the motion a little bit, just doing just enough to be competitive. But I, I think now she's understanding that, that she's going to have to put a legitimate effort to go out and win the NCAA. And, and the turnaround between the hurdles is so small, she got to keep her mind together and be able to do it. Uh, um, I think the, the biggest dark horse for us is Desiree. I, 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 don't, I don't think people have seen anything yet. I, I think they, they're pretty comfortable with what she's done so far. There is so much more there. Yesterday, she, she did the workout with the guys, and they all threw up. <laughs> so I, I think she's in the best shape of her life. And, and, and you know, I, I think people are going to have to be really shocked. When she runs the one or the two, there's going to be really some heads turned around to watch her girl at five foot one. Just absolutely, she's going to light up the track. I'll be very disappointed if it's not the absolute fantastic performance. So I think she's going to be the one that can kind of turn the meet around for us because people are expecting her to get lower points. I look at track and field news, Heather, I think said to be seventh. I, I kind of like that because things like that motivate Des like you wouldn't believe. It's like, oh, okay, seven. All right, let's see what happened. Um, I think, you know, after we had that talk indoor with the, the, the sort of Clark Kent Superman talk with the, taking the glasses, she's, she's sort of gotten comfortable running without the glasses and got a comfortable in her own skin. Uh, I think she's very confident. I think her worry is that I have to do what I'm supposed to do as opposed to I have to outdo everybody else. And, and really, I mean, the gap between her and the rest of the field is, is pretty good. And I think sometimes you just can't get comfortable. I mean, she just had a phenomenal workout today. It's almost like not cruise control, but almost like business as usual. I, I got to take care of business. And she was sending me texts last night about the race in Rome and kind of what happened, what is so-and-so far, what did they do wrong. So I'm getting more and more of those texts from her and Dad. So my, my nights are getting <laughs> shorter and shorter. They want to know this, they want to know that. They have questions about, you know, what do I need to change tomorrow to be better? What can I do today? So uh, I think they're, they're 
clearly all excited. All of our girls are so excited about the opportunity. So we, we're just trying to keep a lid on things and just staying focused on this moment right now. It's just workouts, stay healthy. When we get to Eugene, we'll deal with the hoopla of, of kind of who's supposed to do what and, and what's supposed to happen. And we'll let all that, you know, minutia kind of take care of itself. We'll just focus on the University of Kentucky and commanding the things that we can change.